What's going on everybody? Friday the 14th here for you. Yeah, it's me. Short hair, all. I cut it all off. Uh, it was time. I've been growing it out long enough. Uh, the beard's trimmed down a little bit, but it's grown back. But anyways, I am Friday the 14th. And I am here for the Triple Flex Mafia channel. And it is a long, long, long time. Where's the dog doing? Of course, I'm recording. He's been laying down while I've been getting set up. But now that I'm recording things, he's moving. But it's been a long time since I've done a, a, a collection update. I've got a pile of stuff. I've had a list of stuff on my phone for the longest time. Um, I picked up some new NECA figures. I've branched out more than the Michael Myers and Jason stuff. And I have a feeling he's about to knock over. Dude, stop. You just saw his nose. But anyways, I, I picked up some new shoes. I uh, picked up some new naked figures. And of course, I picked up some movies. So, why not do a, a collection update since it's been a long, long, long ass time. Oh, and what is that right there, you may ask? Well, that is... Let me just grab that for you. This is Banana Man Whiskey. You can get this at bananamanwhiskey.com. The name is Trouble. Uh, the people that put out our shirts, Banana Man uh, clothing, they branched out now and gone into the whiskey game. I bought a bottle. If you want to, you have to be 21 years old to buy it. You have to be 21 to get on the website, but you also have to be 21 if you order it. But make sure your state... Uh, allows for shipping of alcohol but yeah this is banana man trouble uh, i have yet to try it i'm probably not going to open up this bottle because this was out of the first batch um brian's a dear friend of mine uh last month i uh, was down in florida at his house for a couple days we blew it up uh it was a great time but yeah if you're a big whiskey fan Definitely try out Banana Man Trouble. It's on bananamanwhiskey.com. All the links and everything will be down below. But yeah, if you're a whiskey fan, definitely go buy a bottle and try it out. Can you hear the dog? He's rustling away at stuff. He's being nosy. All right, like always, we'll start off with the non-horror stuff. Uh, then get into that. But first off, we got the DVDs like usual. First one, a comedy that you don't see a lot of people talk about, but it's kind of like a uh, reality show cops spoof in a way. Run, Ronnie, Run with David Cross. Underrated gem. It does have a Blu-ray release, but uh, yeah, definitely check it out. It's written by him and uh, what's his name? Bob Odenkirk is a writer of this one too, so definitely worth checking that one out. And then the next two are just childhood favorites. I love the Lord of the Rings franchise and The Hobbit and all that stuff. And finally bought the DVDs of The Hobbit and got the Supreme Edition Snapper Case version of Lord of the Rings, the cartoon editions. These are a lot darker than um, uh, than the movie, Peter Jackson movies, which I'm sure the books are, but I, I grew up watching these. I love these too. They're just childhood favorites. And then another DVD, one that I've been meaning to pick up for a long time. It doesn't have a Blu-ray release either. That's Two for the Money with Matthew McConaughey and Pacino. An underrated McConaughey movie. Gets into the world of sports gambling and all that kind of stuff. Just a real underrated one. Another one that doesn't have a Blu-ray release, but hopefully here soon we may get one. Then the next DVD is a documentary from the WWE Network, and that's The Last Ride with The Undertaker. This was a fantastic, I think probably WWE's best documentary they've done, but uh, really, really good. It goes into a couple years of uh, um, of his last few WrestleManias and all that stuff. Just a lot of the behind the scenes stuff that you don't get um, from The Undertaker. I don't think so, mister. Between these little segments, or segments like we, we're like we're talking about a show here, but in between these, I'm going to show off the Jordans that I picked up here in the past couple months. The first pair, well, all these that I picked up uh, were all from Offer Up. Went to a flight club down in Miami, which was an amazing store. They had a lot of the stuff that I've been looking for. Luckily, it just wasn't in my size because they were very, very, very expensive there. But like I said, I've gotten lucky on Offer Up. I bought these and 
a pair of 11s that I'll show here in a little bit from one seller and then another pair, uh, two pairs of threes from one seller I'll off, offer up. That's a good way to do it is try bundling. You get a better deal if you bundle with them. But anyways, I'm rambling. The first pair that I picked up is these NYX threes. The threes have have turned into my my favorite of the Jordans. They're the most comfortable that I've uh, that I've owned. Uh, I haven't branched out into into any of the other ones yet. I like the look of the ones. I just don't think that's my style. Like I said, the threes and the fours are my favorites. But these NYX threes, they came in pristine shape. They had a few little dirt marks on them, cleaned right up. But yeah, pretty much like a brand new pair that I got for. A little under retail, so. Don't worry, we're making appearance. He loves the camera. What can I say? He's getting so big. Uh, I haven't really showed him uh, even before uh, the last video. I never even showed him on one, but yeah. This is Henry. Look up, Henry. Okay, now he's good. But yeah, he's been a good boy. He's a mini Aussie. Uh, he's probably about full grown now. But uh, he was right at about 30 pounds, and he's a hand bone. Lots of energy. He's been a blessing to have a good time, and now he's pretty much laying in my lap with his feet on the ground. But anyways, back to the movies. Getting right back into the movies, we got the non-slip, uh, non-horror movies. Picked up Showdown in Little Tokyo with the Warner Archive sale. Haven't even opened it yet, uh, so I haven't even watched it. and don't know what to tell you about that one. And then one, uh, looking through the collection that I just didn't have on Blu-ray uh, when I was collecting Steelbooks, I was kind of holding out to get it um, through the steel, Steelbook version, but it got ridiculously priced, and I've said fuck Steelbooks now. But anyways, that's Commando on Blu-ray, just Arnold Classic. Sold the two Steelbooks that I had of these and just bought the double pack, and that's the Raid Collection. Amazing movies. If you haven't seen those, then... Please go watch those. I think they're on Netflix. If you've never seen the Raid movies, do yourself a favor. Go watch those. You won't be disappointed. And then had the still book also of this. Sold it for crazy money and picked this up for super cheap. So that's Tombstone. Next up, we got some slips. Picked this up from Game Exchange, $5.99. That's the Godfather, the Coda cut, maybe. Definitely the weakest out of the franchise to me. It goes 2-1-3 for me, but uh, at some point, I'll get to watching that. Hopefully, it's better. It's got to be, because the third one is shoo-shoo. One movie that's not shoo-shoo, and that is Greenland. This movie, freaking awesome disaster movie. Gerard Butler, um, I'm a fanboy for him. I enjoy pretty much everything he does. Uh, the Fallen movies are some of my favorite action movies out there, but this one did not disappoint. Um... The, the one scene in the neighborhood when the shit hits the fan and choices have to be made that is absolutely gut-wrenching but definitely definitely a winner of a movie in my top three of the year so far definitely uh pick these next three up for super cheap out of great escape um i saw this when it first came out but it was with the slip for 4.99 the 18 it's a fun action movie. Uh, not the best, not the worst, but definitely a good time. One that I've never seen. Uh, it's still sealed with the slip for $4.99. That's Battle Los Angeles. It has uh, Aaron Eckhart in it. Um, it's aliens and stuff like that. I don't know. I've just I've never seen this one. I remember seeing a steel book for this one, and I never picked it up. But definitely check that one out. And another one, I know I've had this in my collection before. I sold it. Uh, it was $5 out of Great Escape 2 with the slip, and that's Act of Valor. The acting's not the best in this, but I think they use um, real military personnel to, to film this movie. But the action scenes are incredible, especially that one when they're rescuing the girl and they come in on the boat. Badass. Next up is a set that I honestly never thought I would have in my collection. Uh, like I said earlier, about a month ago, I uh, went down to Florida for four days to see my buddy Ryan, uh, the owner of Banana Man Clothing and all that. Uh, and one day we went to Universal Studios and 
we spent a lot of that time over in the wizarding world of Harry Potter and all that stuff. And I was asking a ton of questions. What's this mean? What's that? What's this? What's that? And he was answering them all. And he said, just, just give the movies a chance. He's like, if you get through the first three, which are the toughest to get through, because that's when they're the youngest, then the, re the they get better and better each one. And I've made it through the first two so far. They were as expected. Um, but it was cool to see some of the things that I saw at Universal have some meaning behind them and all that stuff from seeing it from the movie. And that's the Harry Potter 4K collection. Traded in some stuff out at uh, McKay's and was able to pick this up with the credit. So didn't pay anything out of pocket for it. It's the Blu-ray 4K collection. Uh, like I said, I've made it through the, I've watched the first two movies so far. They're, they're all right for what they are. Um, but I'm excited to get further, further into the franchise and then go back and look at some stuff, the pictures that I took and everything and things make more sense to me. But yeah, that's the Harry Potter 4k collection. All right. Got some 4k slips. Uh, like I've, I've said it before, Tom Cruise is not my favorite actor. I've seen this movie once and I remember it being okay, but I found it for cheap out of McKay's and that's War of the Worlds, the 4K. Um, I remember it being just okay. I remember the aliens, the sounds that they made were pretty terrifying, but other than that, I don't remember much about it, but picked it up. Like everybody picked up the Total Recall 4K that added to the Arnold collection. This is one that I grew up probably watching one of the the most uh i remember the, the, like the when he pulled the the orb out of his nose or whatever the thing is uh kind of crazy finally was able to pick up the 300 4k was wanting to find it for cheap and was found it out in mckay's then next up i know this is not uh the four uh, the 4k slip but was able to find the revenant on blu-ray for cheap with the slip and then had the 4k already um with the old steel book so was able to swap it over to a slip and now i get the steel book for sale which will pay for that in its own and then of course i picked up tenant watched it again I was confused about some things as i was when we saw it in the theater but having subtitles on helped got another 4k set here i definitely had to pick this up once it was announced because i had the first three movies on blu-ray i had the steel book so Sold a still book and it paid for this set and still pocketed some money, but that's the It Man 4K box set. Great franchise, love all all four of these movies. Watched the fourth one when it first came out. Um, but yeah, just, just badass. Donnie Yen as It Man is just a f fucking badass. The fight scenes in all of them are great. I think they're, they were all choreographed by Donnie Yen, but real nice hard box put out by Wellgo USA. They did an excellent job with it. Each one has an individual case to it, but yeah, if you've never seen It Man either, do yourself a favor. I believe these are on Netflix as well, but give these a chance. All right, second pair of Jordans that I picked up. These are probably, these are growing on me more and more that I look at them. I've worn them once. Um, they're, of course, their threes are comfortable as hell, but these are the cool gray threes. Um, I kind of wish where the yellow or the orange is was red, but like I said, they're growing on me more and more. Uh, they were in a bundle deal with the next pair that I'll show you, and they were just too good of a deal to pass up together. Uh, I got them for under retail, um, and were worn once, so yeah, that's the cool gray threes. Like I said, they're growing on me. The more that I look at them, I may get some. They, he didn't have the gray laces with them, so I may pick up some gray laces to go in these. But I think the whites look pretty good. I just wish, like I said, these the little accents were red instead of that orangish yellow color, and then the air was red. But um, yeah, I like them. I'm holding on to these for right now. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Uh, I may use them for trade for another pair of threes or something like that. I don't know. I'm undecided. Um, but yeah, I like them for what they are. They're probably my least fair, uh, favorite pair of Jordans that I own. But yeah, still look good though. Full horror DVDs here. Picked up Into the Grizzly Maze. Great creature feature with uh, Billy Bob Thornton, James Marston, Thomas James in it. Uh, the kill scenes are brutal. The bear is brutal in it. Definitely check this one out. I don't think it has a Blu-ray release, but uh, yeah. Uh, you may be able to watch it on Prime. Uh, it used to be on Netflix, but not anymore. 
And then the next one, uh, I picked up, I picked this up uh, at Full Moon uh, Tattoo and Horror Festival. It's from a local director. Uh, he, I think he's from Tullahoma, Tennessee, if I said it right. Um, but uh, this was signed by the director and the actor in it, and that is Chicken's Blood. I have yet to watch this. Um, it's pretty much a struggling wrestler and his friends take a shortcut to the event through a corrupt town ran by drugs and find themselves in the middle of a blood feud between the gang and a psychotic clown on meth. So yeah, uh, that pretty much uh, sums that one up. And then the it does have alternate artwork, but I don't think I can show that. Uh, you know what, fuck it, I don't give a shit. That's the alternate artwork for it. Buttfucker 4. So, uh, I don't know how you can watch this one uh, other than buying it. Uh, I don't have any information other than that right there. You can pause it to read it. But, yeah, just supporting the local horror scene. Um, like I said, I'm going to check this one out. I think it's it looks like it's shot on home, home video. I don't know. We shall see. I'll check it out at some point. Right into the MRAs. Picked this one up when we were up in Knoxville with... Uh, the crew and then Paul was up there too. We got a cabin up up there for a long weekend. Had a good time. Went down to the McKay's down in Knoxville and was we were able to find some things. But I know, I think me, Chad, and Paul all picked up the deep end. Haven't watched it yet. And then from an order from, I believe this is from uh, Hamilton Books. Jordan said, "Pick up Lovely Molly." He said it's pretty good. Like I said, it haven't even been opened yet, so it hasn't been watched. Also, The Sacrament, picked that one up, haven't watched it yet, common theme. Uh, picked this one up at Full Moon Tattoo and Horror Festival, 13 Slays of Xmas. Evidently, it's a Christmas anthology with 13 different stories to it, so excited to check that out around Christmas time. Uh, Paul and Jordan both said this one was really good. I think this is an Australian horror movie, but that's The Windmill. Both of them said the killer is really cool. The kills are pretty damn good. Uh, it was a keeper for them. So, and then picked up the uh, what is this? The uncut version of Terrorist Trap. We got a couple right here from Stinky Tuna, which I don't know what's up with them uh, anymore. I tried getting on their website and asked for some kind of code and all that stuff. So, who knows? This was my last order that I picked up from them, but got fire in the sky. Um, the transfer, I popped it in just to look at it. The transfer looks good. Uh, excited to check this one out, watch it all the way through. But this is the one that that sticks out to me that scares the, the, this one. And VHS 2, the alien scene and that are absolutely terrifying to me. And then I'm going to pick, check this one out over uh, the thanks, uh, Thanksgiving season. And that is the Thanksgiving collection with Thanksgiving 1 and 3. Evidently, there's no two, but it was on there, and you don't have many thanks, uh, Thanksgiving. I keep wanting to say Thanksgiving, but Thanksgiving horror movies. And then one from Severin. Uh, watched this other night, Deep Blood. I was wanting last shark, uh, lark, last shark level with this one, and it it just wasn't. Uh, you hardly get any shark. And the shark scenes that you do get are like real shark footage and the damn shark looks through a peephole. Uh, but yeah, probably won't be holding on to this one. I want to uh, check out Cruel Jaws. Uh, Jordan watched it the other night and said it was a lot better than this one and on the last shark level. So this one probably won't be in the, the Keeper Palo, probably going on eBay here soon. And then I got three more from that Warner Archive sale. Picked up The Witches, the classic. It's still sealed. Uh, one I haven't seen, Innocent Blood, Mafia Vampire movie. Um, like I said, it's still sealed. And then one I've always heard people talk about too is The Hidden. Uh, still sealed on that one too. So you see how much I've been watching during this time. I will admit I've been hooked on streaming services. I've been hooked on HBO Max religiously in the past couple months and man it has sucked me in big time but i'm still buying stuff all right next up got a couple more independent horror movies from here in town 
uh, picked these up at Full Moon Tattoo and Horror Festival. I believe these people are all from the Nashville area, but the first one is called Tennessee Gothic. I don't remember what it's much is about. I mean, if you can read that, go for it. But um, yeah, the director and the the girl that started it signed that one. And then another one that they did as well, a one called Blind. Uh, it's also signed. Uh, it doesn't have any reverse art artwork, but yeah, just decided to support some local horror people. Uh, like I said, they're both out of Nashville. So, I mean, yeah, the direct, both of these are from Nashville. So I'll give them a shot. Um, who knows? They may be good. Uh, picked this up from Hamilton Book, Cinco de Mayo. Uh, it just came in last week. But, uh, yeah, it, I looked up the trailer. It looks ridiculous. A slasher based around Cinco de Mayo. So we're going to check that one out. Then these next two, picked them up from... Uh, What's his name off of uh, Facebook, but he, uh, Roy Merce, I don't know, Roy Dam or something like that, but uh, he makes his own Burn On The Band movies, and he made a Sandman cut, which is a Halloween cut of one and two spliced together with, I think, 20 minutes, it says, of extra footage, but this is the Halloween, the Sandman cut. And he was able to do them with alternate artwork to them. Oh, here, we'll just do this. They have alternate artwork. Um, uh, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try to save these for Halloween this year because I'm gonna try to watch the whole franchise again. I'd like to mix these in with it, but there's a description of it if you can read it. But yeah, that's the Sandman cut. And then the next one he put out is the Loomis Trilogy of four, five, and six all together. Let's see what the runtime, four hours and 42 minutes is the runtime on this one. Uh, it has some bonus footage. I believe this is the theatrical cut of six in it as well. Let's see, the Sandman cut is, what's the runtime on it? three hours and 13 minutes on the Sandman cut. And then, like I said, this one is four hours and 42 minutes of four, five, and six. So yeah, definitely go check him out. Like I said, his name is uh, Roy Dam. I think he's in some of the, the cult Facebook groups. Uh, but yeah, alternate artwork on both of them. Uh, yeah, just really dig these. Looking forward to checking these out. The shipping takes a little long, but you know, he gets, he's doing them all himself. Uh, the transfers look good. I've got a few movies that he's done but yeah that's the same man cut and the Loomis trilogy and then picked up it from Hamilton book uh, the pack from Screen Factory the lone one without a slip cover from Screen Factory like I said I picked up three pairs of Jordan 3's and these are probably my favorite out of the four that I picked up these are the Georgetown 3's I wanted these when they first released and I missed out on them I was way late and I wasn't able to go to in uh, stores to try to get them. But like I said, bought these in the cool grays from a seller on offer up for under retail. Um, yeah, super stoked. Love these. Super comfy, like I said, with the threes. But I love that color colorway with these with the navy and the gray. Uh, just a great looking shoe. Uh, probably my favorite pair of threes that I have until I get the cement threes. But yeah, these are super, super clean. Love these shoes. Hey, moving right into the slip horror, uh, we'll get it. I got a couple shutter releases that I've watched. Random Acts of Violence. What's his name? Uh, the director of this. Uh, he was Jay Beershell. I think he did a great job with this. Well, I wouldn't say great. He did a great job with this one. The kills are absolutely brutal, especially that one, the van scene. Oh, holy shit. Yeah, that's a brutal kill. But yeah, I really enjoyed this one. I recognize this, recognize this guy from uh, Grey's Anatomy because my wife watches that. So, but yeah, really nice slip cover. It's kind of shiny. It's embossed, all that good stuff. But really enjoyed that one. Of course, you can watch these on Shutter if you have it. Also picked up Host. This is a real short one, but I really enjoyed this one. And it's pretty smart little choice to do this one with the year that we had last year and all that. But What's the runtime on this one? 65 minutes. It's got some good jump scares. I really enjoyed that one as well. 
And then I've always heard about this one. I haven't watched it yet, but uh, I think I picked this up up in Knoxville as well, and that's Voices with Ryan Reynolds. Found it with a slip for cheap. Uh, yeah, I haven't watched it yet. And then one, I've never seen this one, I will admit it, but I found it for $3. Out of Great Escape with a slip in good shape, and that's World War Z. I don't know if this is more of an action movie than horror movie, but I put it in my horror movies. And it was still sealed with a slip in good shape, so pick him up. So this one, I, don't, I haven't watched this one yet, but I think Jordan watched it and really liked it, but that's The Dark and the Wicked from RLJE Entertainment. Uh, like I said, I haven't watched it. Another one, I haven't watched, it's still sealed. I've heard shit things about it, so who knows if I'll watch it or if I'll just resell it, but that's the remake to Castle Freak. Like I said, it's still sealed, I haven't even watched it. Then picked up, uh, sold the steel book to this one. Was able to find it with a slip. Gotta take some goo going after it, but that's the Alien Covenant 4K release. Picked up the Saw 4K release. Uh, just uh, that slip cover is gorgeous. That's probably one of my favorite 4K slip covers that's come out. But they did a great job with that one. Then also picked up the 4K release of Possessor. This movie was batshit crazy. The kills are brutal. Um, it's kind of uh, uh, fucking uh, what is it? The Christopher Nolan movie. Damn, I'm drawing the biggest point. Inception. Inception in a horror movie. God bless. That was a. You just saw the roll deck spinning that whole time. But yeah, this one I really enjoyed it. It's. I'm looking forward to checking it out again. I've only watched it once when it first came out, but yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. I enjoyed it. Getting into the boutique horror stuff now. A Vestron that I've been wanting to check out for a long time that I've never seen. Uh, found it on Facebook through a seller for a great price. $25 shipped. And that was Slaughter High. Like I said, I've never seen that one. Just recently picked this one up in the last couple of weeks. But one that I've always been eyeing. Never knew if I'd get it with a slip. But found it through a seller on Facebook. Uh, this is the only Vinegar Syndrome in this update. That's the Silent Madness release i haven't watched it common thing but uh yeah it's a slasher 80s and whoa want to go sliding out of my hands getting into the shout factory screen factory ifc stuff uh, first up pick this up at fye up in knoxville and that's california i've always heard good things about this one with brad pitt and uh what's her name juliet lewis in it picked up centigrade uh I don't know. I haven't watched it yet. Same with this one. Rent a Pal. Haven't heard very good things about it, but I forget where I found I think I found this out of McKay's for like under $10. So, one that I'm excited to check out. Both Chad and Jordan said they really like this one. Spudnik. It hasn't even been open for me. Found this one up in Knoxville as well at FYE. And that's Rabid with the slipcover, the remake. And then one, I think I found this at McKay's or maybe. Best Buy, I'll forget. But that's the rental from IFC and Screen Factory. Heard good things about that one as well. So, heard a lot about a lot of movies that I haven't watched. But that's what happens when you get caught up in streaming. Got three collector's editions here. Got the uh, new releases of Prince of Darkness, the 4K. Um, I haven't opened it yet because I'm not the biggest fan of this one. So, uh, we kept that one sealed. Had to pick up They Live fun movie Roddy Piper R.I.P. the legend the goat um, but yeah just a lot of fun with that one and then also picked up the Event Horizon collector's edition really like that artwork I believe this yep Joel Robinson on that one so all of his are always a winner in my opinion and then last but not least the Soul Arrow edition that I got and that's the 4k release of Tremors that tells you how old this update is I pre-ordered this the day that it was announced and got mine in ASAP before they started going for crazy prices, but he's being snoopy over here, but just you've seen unboxing videos of it. It's a badass release. Uh, I like all, all of Arrow's hard box sets, but yeah, really enjoy that one. Just the first movie, the rest of the sequels and all that are straight doo doo, but yeah. Alrighty, and the last pair of Jordans that I got to show off here are the ones that I got in the bundle with the Knicks 3s. And these are the Concord Bread 11 Lows. 
These are the first pair of 11s that I've owned since I was younger. My favorite pair of Jordans, I've said it multiple times, are the Concord 11s. I hope to own those one day, but I like these 11s with the colored soles. The ones with the clear ones, they start yellowing and start turning colors. The ones with the colored soles are, are easier to keep clean, but these shoes are super, super sweet. Uh, you get a mix of both. Uh, like I said, I was always, the Concord 11s are my my favorite pair of Jordans ever made. And this is about as close as I can get to them as of right now, unless I find them on a better deal. But yeah, love these shoes. Thanks for the extra shot there, bud. Well, like I said, I've gained some NECA horror figures in the past couple months. Uh, I told myself I was just going to keep it uh, Myers and Jason, but I lied. Especially with the McCready figure coming out and the Kessler Wolf, I'm definitely going to be picking those up. So I picked all these up. First up, you got the Ultimate Pinhead. Awesome figure. Pretty damn good head sculpt. Able to get the, the cube in his hands and all that. I got all his accessories. He don't come with many accessories, but the, uh, the cape is wired and all that's pretty cool. You got the Ultimate Sam figure. He's really dope. He's a smaller one, but this little, you can't really see it because it's light outside, but that lights up. The box is pretty cool on him. Let's turn that off without knocking it over. You got the ultimate ghost face that just came out. I got mine with the bloody mask and the right knife. Simple but sweet figure. Then you come over and you got the child's play. This is the last one I picked up, but I got mine with the Child's Play 3 mask. I mean, look how detailed that is. It's focus. But badass. Got him with his little knife. And you got Leatherface and Freddy. This is another figure I've yet to get a case for it, but I bought another of the retro style Halloween 2018s and got it signed by James Jude Courtney at uh, Full Moon Tattoo and Horror Festival here in town. That was the main reason why I went. I didn't know what I wanted to get signed. I thought I wanted a print or something, but nothing really stuck out to me, but except for to get another one of these and get it signed. But I've got a spot for it right there that I think it's gonna go once I get a collective case for it, a protector and all that stuff. So that's to go with my Tyler Main signature, which that's kind of fading in a way off that thing. I hope it doesn't, but. Anyways, met him. He was a super cool guy. He said we have a lot to look forward to with the new Halloween movie. So that's all the figures. All right, that's it for this collection update. Uh, enough stuff for uh, six months. Appreciate you watching. Like I said before in the opening of this video, if you want a bottle of Banana Man Whiskey Trouble, go down to the links below, get you a bottle of it. Uh, for the next couple days, they're running a deal. If you buy a bottle of whiskey, 10% um, of the sales go to help wounded warriors get service dogs. So if you're a whiskey fan, watch this video, hit that link, go buy your bottle of whiskey, all that good stuff. Uh, what else is there? Did I say give this video a thumbs up if you liked it? Uh, comment down below, let me know what you think of these pickups that I got. Um, yeah, not as rusty as I thought it'd be on this one. But until next time, we out. You gonna say anything? You gonna say bye Henry? He says, fuck you. See ya.